The assaulted victims fronted up at the MTV office today to speak about the ordeal. They were assaulted by police last Saturday at around 2 o'clock in the morning. After a family gathering at the Port Mosby Technical College, Emmanuel Kasi, a final year law student at the University of Papua New Guinea, drove Richard Maninjembi, an employee of Nesfund, and Bradley Wamaingu and his wife Stelsi Winga to the NDB compound, former Cloudy Bay compound at Nine Mile. At the gate, the police officers who had been chasing a suspected stolen vehicle mistakenly punched the four, all the while swearing at them, before they damaged the windscreen of Richard's vehicle and stole their mobile phones and cash money of 1,650 kina. They were accused of uh, traveling and being in possession of a stolen vehicle initially. A police unit from the Boroko police station uh, identified as a D shift that uh, operated under at that time uh, had uh, detained these youngsters outside the compound and proceeded to brutally assault them. Lawyer representing the victims, Christopher Jaminen, condemned the actions of the police officers on that night traveling on the 10 seater vehicle, plate number ZPD 237. The way in which the police are dealing with uh, allegations of criminal behavior is totally contrary to the Constitution and the laws governing human rights. The victims were detained at the Borgo police cell for over 10 hours, but no charges were laid against them. The case was registered with the police internal office, but they are calling on the police management to clamp down on ill-discipline officers. Quinten Alomp, National MTV News.